Each year, around 60,000 people are ordered to wear a tag. I'm going to jazz it up and get some diamonds or something for it. 7,000 of them are women. Keep moving the tag up and down when you shave on your leg. It's annoying, like, really, really annoying. If they can stay out of trouble, then they can stay out of prison. I've actually paid for my stuff today. I haven't pinched it. I got paid £65 to stick my feet in baked beans. It cost me 12p for two tins of baked beans. She gets more dick pics than I don't know what. But women on tag face difficult issues. Because I'm on tag, the courts aren't going to give my daughter back. If I go to prison, where would she go then? And with little support on the outside... Hanging in a bail hostel with drugs and other influences. Who are you fucking talking to? Shut up! I've got to sit with that. Are they being set up to fail? I'm bored. I've no family over here. I've no friends to just go to their house to. I've been tempted to go out shop with them. I'll be on breach as of 8 o'clock tonight. The police will probably nick me. How far now, Stacey? It's a mile. How far is a mile? 24-year-old Amy has just got out of prison after spending two months inside. As a condition of her release, she has to wear a tag. Have you actually got your tag out? I hate it out, I try and conceal it. She's just met 28-year-old Stacey, who is also on tag. They are living at a bail hostel for people who leave prison with nowhere to go. I landed before there. I was in there about a week on my own. Then another girl come, she didn't last very long. Amy landed the same day that the girl disappeared. Yeah. And since then, she's been like a baby sister. That's a cab box. Jodie's out on bail after being arrested for burglary. When you get released from prison, they come out, bring the equipment, they uh, measure your ankle. They plug the tag box in and they put a, a red stick on it. So if you tamper with it, they can know if you've tampered with the box. And then they just clip your tag on. Because I'm on a high tag, which means I can go outside the property in my garden. Until her trial, she must wear a tag and stick to a curfew. I can go all along the edge here. And then I can go up to the here, past the tree, because I put a washing line there. So I can't go past this point, past where the house ends. I can't go past there at 9 o'clock. The police can turn up, and if I'm not here, then that's a breach, isn't it? Stacey has been released from prison on bail. She's awaiting trial for assault. Hold that. Don't eat my chips. I won't hold it. I won't hold it, all right. <laughs> Until her court hearing, she must wear a GPS tag, which tracks her movements 24 hours a day. It's a GPS satellite one. So what it does is it tracks everywhere I go. It's got restricted zones. It tells the police everywhere I've gone. I'm on a <laughs> six o'clock in the morning, I'm allowed out, till eight o'clock in the evening. If I don't charge it, then it goes red and I've got a breach, so I can instantly get put back into prison. So I'm stuck to a wall for about two hours and 15 minutes every day. So I'm pretty much like a robot. I've got to charge myself. Mine's just a normal standard one. Like a time one, so I, I can't go out after seven till seven. All well, the time I have to worry is if I'm late home. Sometimes, like when you're wearing leggings and stuff, it sticks out and it looks daft. It takes a bit of time to get used to walking. It's like an horse getting new shoes on, I suppose. We're going to have a bit of a drink and a party. <laughs> Being in the house, it's one thing after another. Too many dramas there. I swing it out that window by your bollocks. Do you feel safe in that house? No. 